Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 853 of our trek and time for Philosophy Friday series. Each Friday, we will ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. But due to my heavy travel schedule for two weeks, I will be diverting from our regular topics, and instead, I will be reading through the parables of Jesus. Jesus' parables are seemingly simple and memorable stories, often with imagery and all convey messages. Scholars have commented that although the parables seem simple, the messages they convey are deep and central to the teachings of Jesus. Christian authors view them not as similitudes which serve the purpose of illustration, but as internal analogies in which nature becomes a witness for our spiritual world. Many of Jesus' parables refer to simple, everyday things, such as a woman baking bread, a man knocking on the neighbor's door at night, or the aftermath of a roadside mugging. Yet they deal with major religious themes, such as growth of the kingdom of God, the importance of prayer, and the meaning of love. In our Western civilizations, these parables form a prototype for the term parable, and in our modern age, even with those who know little about the Bible, the parables of Jesus remain some of the best-known stories in the world. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. Our parables for today are taken from Matthew chapter 22, verses 1 through 14, and the parable today is the Great Feast. Jesus also told them other parables. He said, The kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a king who prepared a great wedding feast for his son. When the banquet was ready, he sent his servants to notify those who were invited, but they all refused to come. So he sent other servants to tell them, The feast has been prepared, the bulls and fattened calf have been killed, and everything is ready. Come to the banquet. But the guests he invited ignored them and went their own way, one to his farm, another to his business. Others seized the messengers and insulted them and killed them. The king was furious, and he sent out his army to destroy the murderers and burn their town. And he said to the servants, The wedding feast is ready, and the guests I invited aren't worthy of the honor. Now go out to the street and the corners and invite everyone you see. So the servants brought in everyone they could find, good and bad alike, and the banquet hall was filled with guests. But when the king came to meet the guests, he noticed a man who wasn't wearing the proper clothes for the wedding. Friend, he asked, how is it that you are here without wedding clothes? But the man had no reply. Then the king said to his aides, bind his hands and feet and throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen." Well, that will end our parable for today. On our next Meditation Monday trek, we will continue with another parable of Jesus. Thank you for joining me on this trek that we call life. Encourage your friends and family to join us, and then come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 852 daily treks and read the associated journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. I encourage you to subscribe to Apple Podcasts or Google Play so that each day's truck will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Led to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.